Hi everyone, welcome to the Mount Diablo United School District Virtual College Fair. Thank you so much for joining us. We are really excited you are here. Before we get started, we do have a few house, housekeeping items to note. My name is Catherine and I will be your facilitator for this session. First, your camera and microphone are off. You are muted and your video is off. The panelists can't see or hear you. If you have any questions at all, feel free to use the Q&A button to type in your questions to the presenters at any time. They are here, ready and available to answer your questions. And lastly, all sessions are being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash M-D-U-S-D. Again, all sessions are being recorded, including this one, and will be available at strivescan.com slash M-D-U-S-D. We are currently in session C3, where my mouse is circling at the moment. And this is also the same order of presentations. So without further ado, I'll get out of the way and introduce our first representative from US, from UC Davis. Good evening, everyone. Hope you're doing well and thank you for joining us this afternoon. My name is Cheryl Blackshire. I'm the Associate Director for California Recruitment at the UC Davis campus. And I wanna share five things that I think you should know about UC Davis. Number one is where we are located. We're in the middle of everywhere, very conveniently located about 20 minutes west of Sacramento, about an hour and a half from San Francisco, for you all in the Bay Area, far enough away from home where mom and dad won't just roll up on you every other day, but close enough to take your laundry on the weekend, get some fried chicken, favorite mom's meal, mom's meal, whatever that is, still close enough to do all of that. The city of Davis is a small college town. We are uh, California's college town, less than 70,000 residents, but we have close to 38 not 38,000 students. So truly everything about the city of Davis is intermingled into the college community. We're about a day trip away from just about anything that you may want to do. Number two is academics. The challenges of the 21st century are going to require uh, problem solvers in just about every industry, which is why we offer over a, a hundred majors um, several minors as well um, across the four colleges that are listed here on the slide. Um, students are able to really follow their passion. They can do a double major, a major and a minor, essentially create the curriculum that you need for the path that you're on. Over 400 of our faculty members are, uh, were the first in their families to go to college. And so we have a first generation um, initiative. So if you were also the first in your family to go to college, know that you have faculty and staff across the entire UC Davis community that are going to be a support system for you to help walk you through this process of higher education. Community, community, community is very important to us at UC Davis because we are such a large campus, getting involved is the way to make the campus small. And so this is just a small representation of some of the community centers that we have on campus for you to be able to find community for you. Whether or not you identify with the name on the door, walk on in, check it out. You'll find like-minded students similar to you, or you may find a group of students or a community that you're not familiar with and have an opportunity to learn. Who knows, you may even find some free food, a study group for that organic chemistry class. You know, I'm just saying, get connected wherever you can. Two of the uh, centers that aren't mentioned here that I'd like to tell you about is for any of my pre-med, pre-vet, pre-dentistry, any kind of health career, we have a health professions advising center to assist you regardless of what your major is. If you're interested in a health career, the center is there to help prepare you and make sure that you're taking the right steps for the next stage. 
The other center I want to mention is for my innovators, my entrepreneurs. We have a student startup center for you to get guidance on how to pitch your ideas, to get funding for your, no, for your new innovative idea and what have you. So just know that all of these things are available to you and several more. Number four, opportunities await you at UC Davis. We have uh, over 800 student clubs and organizations for you to get involved in. You can volunteer at the food pantry. Um, we have Division I athletics. We're the only UC other than UCLA and UC Berkeley with Division I football. So different ways for you to balance what you're doing in the classroom with outside the classroom activities. We're very well connected to industry. You see that we have um, close to 10,000 students a year that are doing internships or undergraduate research and other opportunities for you to definitely build upon what you're learning in the classroom. And then number five, we want you to stay in contact with us. So if you have your phone, scan the QR code, you can get on our email list. Um, I know this is very short this um, evening, so we have several other virtual events that are taking place and you have the website there. We have um, sessions for prospective students, parents, and counselors. Since you all are fairly nearby, we are still offering small family tours um, on a limited basis. But if you can't get to campus or you wanna get insight on what a, um, what a, a UC Davis student life is like. We are part of season two of the college tour streaming series. Um, this Sunday at four o'clock is a sneak preview. The, the, um, the new, uh, the new uh, oh, I lost my train of, the new season doesn't start until November, but you can get a sneak preview this Sunday at four if you're interested. So all of these things that I talked about is because we envision our students to be future alumni. Um, our chancellor is very engaging and he wants us to make sure that we're providing you opportunities to access all of the things that you need to walk across the stage and launch into your, um, your career of your choice. And so grow with us at UC Davis. We're part of the UC system. The application is November 1st through November 30th. So make sure you check the box for UC Davis. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. The next representative is from CSU Bakersfield. Hello everyone, thank you for being here. Uh, I know it's kind of late and I hope you uh, enjoy our, our presentations and I uh, hope you uh, pick one of our schools. Um, today we're gonna speak, speak about uh, CSU Bakersfield. My name is Ray Cuesta. I am the uh, University Outreach Counselor for CSU Bakersfield. Um, our area is really easy to get to. We're kind of in the central. We're about an hour and a half south of Fresno two hours north from LA, two hours east from the coast, and just a car drive away. It's a nice place to visit and affordable to live. Some of the stuff that uh, is happening in, in at CSUB, um, this year uh, we were established in 1970. It's our 50th year, so we're having uh, events happening um, all through the year. Our average class size is 26. Students to faculty ratio is 27 to one. We're part of another semester systems. We have 16 NCAA division one teams, 10 women and six men. We have over a hundred clubs and organization. And we have 90% CSUB students who receive financial aid. Uh, popular majors. Uh, first, our, we have 37 bachelor's degrees, 27 master's, five credential, and one doctoral program. Our popular majors are business administration, criminal justice, liberal studies, sociology, and we have uh, nursing, which is impacted, but we have two different pre-programs, one the nursing, and second, just established this year, health, the health program. Part of also the biology school, we have biology. I mean, the 
the national science and uh, math. We have biology, which now we have pre-medical, pre-dental, pre-orthodontist, pre-veterinarians, and pre-orthodontist. In the same school, we have now established four different majors with computer science. In our political, political science area, we established pre-law. Our campus, uh, we live in a, um, in a good area where the cost of it, uh, living is kind of reasonable. And also the cost of attendance for the university, uh, I know CSUB is trying to make it very affordable for you to come to school and live at, in, our, in our dorms in our area. Um, like I said, student, student clubs, 100 of them, all sorts, runner nights every semester. Like I said, we're gonna be doing, celebrating a lot of stuff this year for our 50th year. We have our dorms, which is now, it's gonna be um, everybody that is 30 miles away from, the, from CSUB, we're gonna require them to live on campus for the first year. If you look at our website, if you take down the website and go through housing, you can see all sorts of um, uh, the rooms, the place where we where, where they live. We have three towers, and in the next few years, we're going to be establishing two more towers plus a common. So we're going to be having a lot of buildings being built up um, in our school. Freshmen, if you complete 15 units in the A through G with a C, and have at least 2.5 GPA, at least you're auto, you're gonna be auto admitted to CSUB. So think about it, 2.5, 15 units with a C or better, boom, you're in there. Not everybody's gonna be going to CSU, UCs or private colleges, and you plan to go to, to community college, the same thing, 60 transferable units, which equivalent to 90 quarter units, at, at least at 2.0, and passing the golden four, which is math, English, critical thinking, and speech, you also have uh, auto admissions to CSUB. Uh, like everybody else, uh, all the schools are gonna be uh, opening up the Cal State Apply. Uh, with us, it's gonna be October 1st, like everybody else, but we will end, and this is incorrect, it's like December 15th. So um, you're gonna get four free waivers. Uh, if you submit your test, and CSUB, we're only gonna use it for uh, placing you in um, classes. This is what we offer as far as when we talk to schools, to students, this is gonna be our online resources for you to um, take advantage of. These are some of the contacts that are, people are just dying to wait for you to call them so they can help you, service you, give you all the information you need. And any questions? I know it's gonna be one wait till the end. I just also wanted to pass down my information in case you are needed other questions during the um, uh, other days to come. Thank you very much. I appreciate um, you guys being here. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Just a friendly reminder that if anyone has any questions, to feel free to submit those using the Q&A button towards the bottom of your screen. Any questions at all, our representatives are here, ready and available to answer your questions. Our next representative is from CSU Fresno, Fres Fresno State. Uh, good, good evening, everyone. My name is Rick Chacon and I serve as the Assistant Director for Admissions and Recruitment at Fresno State. Uh, give me just one second here. There we go. Okay, there's my picture, there's my information. Please take a screenshot of that or a picture of it. And that's my work cell number, so you can contact me directly. Okay, uh, this is our campus, just some images of our campus. We have a large campus and um, we have well, first of all, we have the largest football stadium in the CSU on the campus stadium. And then we also have uh, our library, which is ranked 25th by uh, college rank. In fact, that library is so advanced that each book has an antenna and we know where the book is actually at. Uh, we also have our Save Mart Center, and, uh, the Save Mart Center at Fresno State, you see it there. And this is the largest on-campus arena uh, on the West Coast. It holds over 18,000 for center stage performances. And we also have the first um, 
university, we're the first university to offer victimology and criminology. Our criminology is big at Fresno State. Victimology is the psychological effect of victims. We also have law enforcement and we have forensics behavioral science. Uh, we're the first university to have geomatics engineering that's using GPS and GIS to do surveying. It's Google Earth. And that's why, and that's connected with our library. That's how you can find where your book is at. Uh, we're the first university in the world to have a commercial winery. We have Bulldog Wine, which over three, which we have over 300 awards. And we're the first university to have a blimp, actually. That's a fun fact. This is a rising star of London, England, and it rates universities to have a global impact. And this class of 2030, Fresno State's ranked 14th on their list of 20, of, um, of Firetail, uh, rising star universities. We're very, we're very excited about that. Here's our majors. Okay, so we have 70 majors, and if you count all the options, it equals 140. We have uh, uh, 60 masters. You see the minors there. Credential certificates, which are often overlooked. Uh, there's 12 unit certificates that really add on to your your resume, and three doctoral programs. So we have 387 if, uh, academic opportunities. Here's some more. Um, we talked about this earlier. Uh, but I wanted to also bring out that not only do we have this innovation, we also have some really unique things in the United States. For instance, our Peace Garden is the only place in the United States that you have uh, Gandhi, Chavez, Dr. King, and Jane Addams in the same courtyard. Uh, we have um, also the largest farm laboratory located on the campus proper of any university. So some university you have to drive to, right, ours is right on campus. And we also have um, Nearpeer, and Nearpeer is our own so exclusive social media platform where students get to make friends before they get to Fresno State. So the average student in for the fall 2020-21 had nine, made 19 friends before they even stepped on campus. Here's our library, uh, which I said was ranked 25th in the country, but here's why. Uh, we have the largest installation of compact shelving of any a library in public access. So on the bottom floor, there's over 20 miles of compact shelving, actually. Um, mm -hmm. It's very exciting. And also we have the largest children's book collection the, uh, in the CSU, the largest sheet music collection, the largest auto, audio music collection. And we are also have, um, we're also designated as a state and federal uh, depository. So for federal and state governments. And we also have the uh, viticulture enology. Viticulture is growing grapes. Um, the vines, enology is making wine. And we have that uh, very unique part of our library. And the RFI tag you see right in the middle, that's the antenna I was talking about. We also have Campus Point, which our movie theaters are there, Mayan cinemas are there. And this is Fresno State land that has all these um, restaurants and fun things to do. You see our cheerleaders there um, doing a performance there. There's Wahoos, Mad Duck, and uh, you see the rest here. Uh, this is a, the, the St. Mark Center. This is what graduation looks like at Fresno State. And if you have any questions, please, uh, please contact me or you can uh, put your information or leave, I'll leave the information in the chat also. Thank you so much. So much great information. Thank you. Our next representative is from CSU Monterey Bay. All right. Hi, everyone. Hope you all are having a great evening. I am going to be presenting to you about Monterey Bay. Give me just a second here. Let me share my screen. Just a second. All right. So, hi everyone. My name is Pervy Shaw. I'm an admissions counselor at CSU Monterey Bay. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Monterey Bay, where we're located, what we have to offer. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the Q and A, and I'll be able to get back to get to you um, as soon as I'm done presenting. All right, so we are located in Monterey Bay. We are about one hour south of San Jose and about two hours south of San Francisco. But this is just a layout of all of the 23 campuses. So the Golden Star is where Monterey Bay is located. Here's a quick video about Monterey Bay.
that was a quick insight into Monterey Bay, what there is to do in and around the area. The list of majors that you see in front of you here are the majors that we have at Monterey Bay. We have 25 different majors to offer to students. The ones that are highlighted in blue um, are our popular majors. So psychology, biology, business administration, computer science, kinesiology, as well as marine science are our popular majors. The newest addition to our majors list is agricultural plant and soil sciences, which we're very excited about. Here are various different ways you are able to get involved at CSUMB, whether it's our NCAA Division II sports. We have, do have 13 men and women's sports teams. You can join student government, which is like ASB in high school. They put on all the dances, concerts, movie nights, as well as other different types of events for students to come out and get connected with one another. We do have 100 plus clubs and organizations on our campus that students are also able to get involved in. And we do have study abroad as well. Here are some different pathways and support programs as well as resources that we offer to students. So a few that I wanted to highlight would be we do have a transfer student success center that we now have open for our students. We also have a um, Center for Black Student Success that we also just recently opened for our students as well. We do have a cooperative learning center, which is a tutoring center for, on our campus for our students. And we, again, we do have a lot of support programs for our students as well. And for housing, we do offer housing all years that you attend Monterey Bay. We also have family housing as well. And you, we do have a rate lock system for students who do choose to live on campus all four years that it, they attend Monterey Bay. About 72% of our students do receive some sort of financial aid, and it ranges from $600 to about $10,000 per year. And we do have our own scholarships that we offer to our students as well. So for first time freshmen, you do want to make sure you get your A through G coursework completed with the C grade or better. And I do want to mention that for CSUMB as well as CSU's um, all 23 CSU campuses, we are not requiring SATs or ACT test scores for fall 2022. And we are for CSUMB, we will be using a multi-factor admissions criteria. Transfers, um, if we do require 60 transferable units and that's semester units. So for a quarter system, that would be 90 quarter units. And we do require a few other things from our transfer students as well. The applications are going to open up October 1st for CSUs and for CSUMB in particular, we will be keeping our applications open for until December 15th. If you're applying to any impacted majors, those uh, for their applications for the impacted majors will actually be closing on November 30th. It is $70 per campus. If you do get the fee waiver, you can apply to the um, up, up to four CSUs with one fee waiver, and we are known as the CSU with an ocean view. So to end it off, get your phones out, scan the QR code that's there. That way you're able to fill out information to receive more information about CSUMB. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Just another friendly reminder that if you have any questions at all, to feel free to submit those through the Q&A. Any questions at all about the college application process, or even if you have a specific question for any of our schools represented here, we encourage you to include the school name. Now we're gonna, next up, we're gonna uh, introduce our next representative from CSU Sacramento. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Stephanie Alcala, and I'm one of the admissions advisors slash counselors here at Sacramento State. Um, as you may all know, Sacramento is located in the heart of California, the capital of California. So let's go ahead and get started here. Our points of pride. I have a couple of um, little tidbits in a video about our points of pride here at Sacramento State. Sacramento State is known as California's capital university. 
We are located in the heart of Sacramento, seven minutes away from downtown, and Sac State provides students free transportation using their regional bus and light rail systems. Sac State is one of the largest CSU campuses with over 30,000 students and more than 7,000 degrees awarded each year. The average class size is 33 students. The professor to student ratio is one to 27, allowing students to meet with professors outside of class during their scheduled office hours. Sac State is home to a variety of NCAA Division I sports and over 300 student-led clubs and organizations. This includes intramural sports, academic clubs, fraternities and sororities, cultural clubs, and much more. Sacramento State tuition is among the lowest in the nation, which allows students to take classes, have access to the well, and attend many free on-campus events. We also take pride in our ASI Food Pantry. Housed in the University Union, the Food Pantry offers non-perishable foods to Sac State students who experience financial hardship and food insecurity. It also provides toiletries and basic necessities for students and oftentimes provides fresh produce. In 2019, Sacramento State unveiled the new science complex along with our new planetarium. The planetarium is open to the public for shows and is also used as classroom space for astronomy courses. Check out the Sacramento State mobile app, available for both Android and Apple. Having the Sac State mobile app makes it easy to keep your student center, to-do list, financial aid, and commute tools all in one place. Okay, so there was that. Um, a little bit of the points of pride here at Sacramento State. I myself am a Sacramento State alumna, um, and I can attest to all of that great information from that video. Um, so yeah, some of our highlighted majors are shared here on the screen. Um, we do offer death studies, uh, nutrition and food dietetics, recreational therapy, public health, um, but some of our impacted most popular majors are nursing, um, business administration, criminal justice, and those are just some of the few. Um, so although Sacramento State has a large variety of majors offered, we do have a few that are very um, popular and that are impacted. So a lot of students um, believe that when you come to Sac State, you know, hey, I'm going to go ahead and apply to go into the psychology major, and that's not necessarily true. Um, getting into Sac State is one thing, yes, but then getting into an impacted major, which means that, let's say, for example, there's 100 students who are interested in this major, um, but we only have space for those 50 um, students out of those 100, then only 50 are the ones that are able to come into this major. So although we do have a lot of impacted majors, we also offer other majors available. Um, so just keep that in mind that when you are applying to Sac State, if you're looking to get into one of the impacted majors, that there's an extra step that you have to take such as submitting a supplemental application, okay? So for fresh time freshman students, I do know that we have a few uh, middle schoolers and high schoolers here with us today. We do ask that you have a complete graduate diploma, graduation diploma from your high school. Um, we do have a Finish in Four initiative at Sacramento State, which allows first time freshman students to possibly finish their degree in four years by taking um, about 15 units or more per semester. Um, the next thing that we ask of students who are first time freshmen is to have the A through G subjects completed. As you can see here on the color wheel, each color represents a certain amount of um, time that you need to have for each um, area in high school. And then the last one is that you have to earn a qualifying admissions GPA. So currently um, for the fall of 2022, the, SA, the SATs and the ACTs are being suspended, um, but we do encourage you to um, insert them into your application regardless. Um, but for non-local high school graduate students, we're asking that you have a 2.75 GPA um, minimum. But for California high school graduates, um, we are asking that you take in consideration the multiple factor admissions criteria um, as far as taking any AB courses, any extracurricular activities that you have outside of school. Um, we take those into consideration in your application as well. Um, so if you're looking to apply to Sacramento State, um, the deadlines and the dates um, starting October 1st at 6 a.m. through December 15th. 
Um, and a lot of students, if you use the californiacolleges.edu program, they're able to merge your uh, transcripts courses onto the CSU apply application. And in the video, you could have, you might have seen the MySAC state application. It's very important that once you do apply to SAC state that you set up your MySAC state portal, um, because through there you'll be receiving admissions determination on whether or not um, you'll be able to attend SAC state. Um, and if you're interested in reaching out to admissions for further information, let's say, hey, you know, you're set on Sac State, you can call us, email us, and we are also available through a Zoom virtual reception room um, where you can speak one-on-one -on -one with an admissions counselor to get more information. Um, and then you're also welcome to join a campus tour. We are currently doing in-person campus tours, but if you're looking to do a virtual campus tour, you can do so as well. So this QR code allows you to reach all of these links by um, going ahead and taking a picture of it or screenshotting it for your future um, reference. Okay, so if you're interested in receiving more information, you now know where to contact us. Uh, my email is salcala at csus.edu. My name is Stephanie Reyes Alcala, and I am more than happy to help you moving forward through your educational journey and from one alumna to hopefully another future alumni. Stinkers up. Thank you so much for joining us today and have a great evening, everyone. Bye. Great. Thank you. Our last representative, but certainly not least, is from the University of California at Berkeley. Hi, everybody. Let me just share my screen real quick. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Trey Moore, and I currently serve as the Associate Director for um, Diversity and Outreach uh, at UC Berkeley. Uh, like I said, I'm so happy to be here, and thank you for letting me uh, come here tonight. Now, Cal Berkeley, for those of you that don't know, are part of the university, like UC Davis, we're part of the University of California system. So with the University of California system, it's one system, nine campuses. So since we are part of one system, you only need one application to apply for any of the campuses on, in the UC system. Now the UC system stretch um, from north to south. Uh, so you can see a picture of them right here. And so um, when you're thinking about what campus to apply to, there are a couple things you wanna think of um, uh, when you're filling out the application. One, something like a major, the program. Uh, does the does the college or does the campus you're interested in offer the major that you're interested in? What is the size of the campus? Well, Berkeley's campus has about 40,000 undergraduate students on our campus. What about the location? Berkeley is located in the San Francisco Bay Area. We're close to San Francisco. We're close to Oakland. We have great restaurants, music and culture, world class museums. We're close to everywhere. You can take trips to Napa, to Tahoe, you name it. We're close to everything. Um, most importantly, we're in one of the most diverse areas of the state, and we'd like for the and we like for our campus to reflect the diversity that you're going to find on campus. Now, speaking of campus, what makes Berkeley so so very special are the students on campus. Our students come from all over all over the state, all over the country, and all over the globe. They come together and weave this wonderful tapestry, and that's what makes Berkeley what it is today. So much so that just two weeks ago, we were we were recognized by Forbes magazine is the number one institution in the country. And this was the very first time a public institution uh, was able to receive that distinction. And that's mainly because of, this camp, of the students that you're gonna find on campus. Um, they, our students bring innovation, passion, their quest for public service and justice and academic excellence all together. And that's what make Berkeley such a wonderful institution that it is today. You know, at Berkeley, we pride ourselves on the work that we've been doing to increase and maintain the diversity of our campus. Like I said, we're located in one of the most diverse areas of the state of California, and we would love for our campus to reflect um, that diversity. So we've been working um, day and night um, to make sure the diversity of the campus is a reflection of the area of the state that they were in. You know, 26% of the incoming freshman class these past two years um, were the first in their family um, to receive a bachelor's degree. 5% come from rural areas. Over 75% of the students um, that come from Berkeley come from public institutions. So every year um, we're becoming more and more diverse. Now, when you think uh, most important part of uh, you know, the college experience is, uh, is involvement. You know, all studies have shown the more students are involved, 
the happier they are, the better they perform, and the most, and the mainly both an overall more positive student experience that they're going to see. You know, Berkeley, we have over 1,200 student organizations for students to get involved in. These student organizations run the gamut, you know, based on academic interests, religious affiliation, cultural affiliation, um, fraternities, sororities, you name it, we have it. We have over 34 sport clubs. So, and we also have 28 varsity sports. You know, we're a division one school. So every Saturday you hear, you see the cow bears, you know, playing in the Pac-12. And so you're able to take advantage of and see some of the best athletes on the planet um, every day in and day out on a weekly basis at Berkeley. You know, when students are applying to Berkeley, you know, they're applying to one of the, one of the six colleges that we have on campus. We have over 150 different majors for students to choose from. And those majors will be in one of these six colleges, the College of Letters and Science, the College of Chemistry, the College of Engineering, the College of Environmental Design, the College of Natural Resources, and the College of Business. And so um, you can go to this website right here on the website, guide.berkeley.edu, to take a look at all the different majors that we have to offer you on campus. Now, when it comes to the admissions applica the application for admissions and what we're looking at, there are five things you need to know about um, submitting the application. First, Berkeley uses a strictly holistic review process, meaning we're not going to compare you to any other person that's applying to Berkeley at this time. You know, we want to make, we want to know what makes you who you are, what makes you the unique individual um, that you are. Second, we're test free, meaning we're not, we don't consider ACT or SAT scores when we are reviewing the application. And number three, one application, nine UC campuses. We're one system, one application. Fourth, letters of recommendation are not required. You do not need a letter of recommendation to apply to UC Berkeley or any UC. Five, personal insight questions. These personal insight questions allow you to tell the story of who you are as a person, who you are as a student, and what makes you the unique individual that you are. You know, now some things to think about the, the admissions timeline, starting August 1st. On August 1st every year, the UC application comes available for all you students in the audience today. The application is up and available. So if you haven't started, I highly, highly encourage you to start filling that out. October 1st is when the financial aid applications are available. Um, all citizens of the United States, they're eligible to fill out the FAFSA. Um, that'll put you in the running for all uh, federal aid offered by the federal government. For our DACA and documented and undocumented students, you can fill out the DREAM Act application. Um, so you'll be in, in, uh, in the running for all state aid for, the, for DACA and undocumented students. Now, November 1st through November 30th is the... Um, submission period. So that means you can submit your application from November 1st to November 30th. After that, from about December to February, we are reviewing applications. In late March, we release our freshman decisions. And then those students that are admitted to Berkeley, they have until May 1st to either accept or decline their offer of admission. Now, you can check us out. You can find us online. You can find us on our website at admissions.berkeley.edu. You can find us online on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, and so if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask away. I'm happy, to, happy you all let, uh, allowed me to join you today. Take care and go Bears. Great. And thank you so much to all our representatives. So much great information. We do have some time left. And so at this point, we're now going to pivot into our Q&A portion of this session. I invite all our representatives at this time to go ahead and turn on their cameras to get ready to unmute themselves. And we'll go ahead and get started with our first question here, which is what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? What advice would you give someone going through the college search process. And we'll go ahead and get started in the same order in which you all presented in. So I would say do your homework on looking at majors. Very seldomly is there only one major for the career that you want to go into. Explore different majors. There's different ways for you to get to where you want to go. I agree. Uh, am I on? Yep. Yeah. I agree. Um, first, um, try to go through the areas that you like, you enjoy, um, and then follow your instincts. Uh, but search, ask people, um, and then uh, do a lot of your research with the universities, with the with the. Uh, classes with your counselor. So do a lot of follow-up. 
Thank you. I think that um, whenever you do research, keep an open mind. You don't know what's out there. And many times you, students stay to the common majors, if I can say it that way. But give you an example of myself. Uh, I studied speleology. I had no idea what that, um, that that even existed. Speleology, for those of you who don't know, most people don't know what it is. It's the study of caves. I had no idea I was going to do that. So keep an open mind on whatever you do. And, and that's really good advice. One major does not fit for a career. Uh, see, I study speleology and I'm doing this, okay? So you have to look at, just keep your mind, your, your mind open and listen to your counselors. Listen to your recruitment counselors because they have the best information. Hi, everyone. I would definitely recommend you all, um, don't be afraid to ask questions or taking different pathways. Um, whether you come in as a first time freshman or later on as a transfer student, there's definitely resources out there for you to help you pave the way to further your educational journey. And although you might not have the answers right now because you're currently a student working amongst all other students with different things, um, just ask the questions, look online. Um, if that's not a sufficient amount of an answer for you, speak to someone. There's a lot of Zoom receptions right now available um, with people ready to answer questions for you. So ask the questions. And last but not least, can you picture yourself living in this area for the next four years? Think about that. I'm also going to add on um, that uh, like um, Sac State mentioned, do you vision yourself at the location that you're at? Even though the university has the major, um, you know, you're going to want to explore in and around the area. And, you know, you're just, you're also going to be taking classes, but you want to enjoy the area. So take a campus tour. Each and every university has their own campus tours that they're giving, whether it's virtual, in person, or anything of that sort. And set up a meeting with an admissions counselor. We're all here to help you out. And I can just follow that up with, I don't have anything else to add that, that anyone else didn't say, um, do your research is paramount. You have to do your research, do your research, do your research. And you have to choose a place that's, that's comfortable for you. This is your degree. It's not your mama degree. It's not your daddy degree. It's not your boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, your friend. You're the one that has to, you're the one that has, that's going to be at this university for the next two, four, five years of your life. So you're the one that's going to be in classes every day. So if it's not comfortable for you, no matter what your mama say, no matter what your daddy say, if it ain't for you, it ain't for you. So do what's best for you. A great way to end and so much great advice. Thank you so much to our representatives for being here. We really appreciate your time. There's been some great questions coming in through the Q&A. We will try to get to those um, as much as we can. And um, if not, feel free to reach out directly uh, to um, our mission representatives. Uh, again, they're here as a resource. So feel free to reach out to them directly. And they will also try to follow up with you as well. We have now reached the conclusion of this session. Thank you again to our representatives and thank you to each of you for joining us. As we close, there'll be a very quick five question survey that will appear on your browser. If you don't mind taking a moment to fill that out for us, your feedback is extremely helpful. And lastly, this session is being recorded, including many others, and will be available at strivescan.com MDUSD. Thank you all and have a great night.